Welcome back to First Movable Guitar Chords. This book focuses on eight movable chord shapes. We're on page 16 and we're going to be combining major, minor, and dominant seven shapes. You can watch all these videos for free, but it's going to be a lot easier to learn if you have your own copy of First Movable Guitar Chords that you can read from and write in, plus you can help support a music teacher, so I'll leave a link in the description. At the top of page 16, we have exercise 20. This is all dominant seven and major chords. Our dominant seven chords are gonna have roots on the sixth string, and our major chords will have roots on the fifth string. The first chord is an A flat seven on string six, so we need to find our A flat note on string six. That'll be at the fourth fret. And because that's on the sixth string, we'll use our sixth string dominant seven shape. Next, we have a D flat major on string five. So we need to find our D flat note on string five. That will also be at the fourth fret, just on the other string. And because that is a fifth string root, we use our fifth string major shape. And then we're gonna be working our way up the fretboard. Next, we have an A seven on string six. Your A flat was at the fourth fret on string six. So your A natural will be at the fifth fret on that string. And again, that's a six string root, so we use our six string dominant seven shape. And then we need to find a D major on string five, so we find our D note on string five first, also with the fifth fret with that fifth string major shape. Working our way up the fretboard again, we have a B flat seven on string six. That'll be at the sixth fret on string six. That's where your B flat root is. And again, that will be with that same dominant seven shape that we've been playing in this exercise on the sixth string. And then we have an E flat major on string five. That's gonna be at the sixth fret as well, just on the other string. And then we use that fifth string shape. And then finally a B seven on string six. So if your B flat was at the sixth fret, your B natural has to be at the seventh fret. Using that six string dominant seven shape, and then finally ending on an E major on string five. So our E note on string five as it is, is at the seventh fret and we play our fifth string major shape. Once you've figured out where to play all these chords, go ahead and play through the exercise. Play as slowly as you need to. It's not about speed, it's about finding these chords. A flat seven. D flat major. A7, D major, B flat seven, E flat major, B7, and E major. Next we have exercise 21, which also has major and dominant seven shapes. This time our dominant seven shapes will have roots on the fifth string and our major chords will have roots on the sixth string. We begin with an F7 on string five. So we need to find our F note on string five so we know where the root is. That'll be at the eighth fret. This will be with that fifth string dominant seven shape. Remember for this one, your third finger plays the root. Make sure you're also muting the first string. Next we have a B flat major on string six. So we need to find our B flat note on string six. That'll be at the sixth fret. And that'll be with the sixth string major shape. In the last exercise, we worked our way up the fretboard. In this one, we're gonna work our way down the fretboard. So now we have an E seven on string five. We need to find our E note on string five. That'll be a half step or one fret down from your F at the seventh fret using our fifth string dominant seven shape. And again, third finger plays the root. Moving to an A major on string six, we need to find our A note on string six. That'll be at the fifth fret. And we play that six string major shape. Next, we have an E flat major, on, e, excuse me, E flat seven on string five. That'll be at the sixth fret. That'll be with the fifth string dominant seven shape. Moving to an A flat major on string six. Your A flat is going to be on the fourth fret on the sixth string. 
that is a sixth string root, so that'll be the sixth string major shape. And then moving down one more fret, we have a D7 on string five. Your D note on string five is at the fifth fret, and that'll be with that fifth string dominant seven shape. And ending on the G major on string six, your G note on string six is at the third fret, and we play that sixth string major shape. Now that we know where to play these chords, go ahead and play through the exercise. Again, play as slowly as you need to. It's more about finding these chords than it is speed. F7. B flat major. Moving to E7. To A major. E flat seven. A flat major, D7, and then G major. Exercise 22 toward the bottom of page 16. Now we're combining dominant seven and minor shapes. Our dominant seven chords are going to be on the sixth string again, and the root for our minor chords will be on the fifth string. Our first chord is B flat major on string six. We need to find our B flat note on string six. That'll be at the sixth fret. And that's the sixth string root. So we use our sixth string dominant seven shape. And then we have an E flat minor on string five. We need to find our E flat note on string five. That'll be at the sixth fret as well. And that is a fifth string root. So we're gonna use the fifth string minor shape. And then we're gonna be working our way down the fretboard for this one. Next, we have an A7 on string six. Find your A note on string six, so that's your root. That'll be at the fifth fret, and that will be with the sixth string dominant seven shape. Moving to a D minor on string five, our D note on string five is at the fifth fret. This will be the fifth string minor shape. Moving to an A flat seven, that'll be on, on string six, that'll be at the fourth fret, and that'll be with the six string dominant seven shape. Then to D flat minor on string five, so you need to find your D flat on string five, that will also be at the fourth fret, playing our fifth string minor shape. G seven on string six, find your G on string six, that'll be at the third fret, using the sixth string dominant seven shape, and then a C minor on string five. So find your C on string five, that'll be right there at the third fret, playing the fifth string minor shape. And then you play the exercise again, nice and slow. The speed will come with time. B flat seven. E flat minor. A seven. D minor, A flat seven, D flat minor, G seven, and C minor. At the very bottom of page 16, we have exercise 23. This also combines dominant seven and minor shapes. This time our dominant sevens will have root notes on the fifth string. Minor shapes will have root notes on the sixth string. We begin with D7 on string five. So you need to find your D note on string five. That's where the root will be. That will be at the fifth fret. We're gonna be playing our fifth string dominant seven shape, which has the third finger playing the root. And remember to Mute the first string. Next we have G minor on string six. So we need to find our G note on string six. That'll be at the third fret. And that's the sixth string root. So we play the sixth string minor shape. Now we're gonna be working our way up the fretboard. So we have an E flat seven on string five. Your E flat note on string five is at the sixth fret using the fifth string dominant seven shape. And then we have an A flat minor on string six. Finding your A flat note on string six, that'll be at the fourth fret. And 
and that's a six string root, so that's the six string minor shape. Moving up to E7 on string five, that will be at the seventh fret for your root, playing the fifth string dominant seven shape. And then to an A minor on string six, your A note on string six is at the fifth fret, playing the sixth string minor shape. Then F7 on string five, your F note is at the eighth fret on the fifth string, and that'll be with the fifth string dominant seven shape. And then the B flat minor on string six, finding your B flat note on string six, that'll be fret six with the sixth string minor shape. Once you can find your chords, go ahead and play the exercise again as slowly as you need to, whatever pattern you like, and you can just do quarter notes like I've been doing. D7. G minor. E flat seven. A flat minor. E seven. A minor. F7, and B flat minor. Your assignment is to practice the exercises on page 16 and continue memorizing those notes on strings five and six as needed. Don't forget to order your own copy of First Movable Guitar Chords. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Take your time with this, and then when you're ready, I'll see you on page 17. We have some more exercises that combine movable major, minor, and dominant seven chord shapes.